remember that video I did a while ago where Portugal announced tax-free crypto trading and crypto withdrawals? Well, now it's time to get more positive news from Portugal. Stay tuned. Portugal once again in the spotlight for blockchain technology. Now, as I said in the video that I did eight months ago, Portugal did announce free tax crypto trading and of course, free tax for miners too when they want to withdraw. So what could you ask for better than that? right let me know what could you ask for better than that no other country offers it so portugal are really trying to take advantage of this and try to step in front of tax havens like malta so that would be very interesting to see how this progresses now in a bid to drive innovation forward and to stimulate the economy portugal has recently approved a nationwide plan to encourage digitalization in several fields published on april 20, 21st the G digital transitional action plan puts forward multiple ways in which the portuguese government will provide infrastructure and incentives for innovation entrepreneurship and competition as well as internationalization for enterprises in the country now that is great stuff and they're actually called technological free zones right zlt for short which has sparked interest within the crypto sphere as portugal continues to make provisions that incentivize cryptocurrency industry activities in the nation now that is great because this is initiative coupled with the tax breaks introduced a few years ago it makes portugal a very attractive place to start and manage a cryptocurrency related business this is an area where other countries like france can learn from portugal the creation of economical areas dedicated to encourage blockchain based businesses is a major milestone for portugal so we know that portugal isn't doing so well financially right so i wonder if by working with this aspect of the financial sector with the blockchain technology and attracting businesses attracting startups there will they actually grow in terms of their economy right i do think so right and this is actually going to help them big time after the coronavirus outbreak is over right i do think more countries need to follow suit and if they don't they're going to be left behind it's as simple as that right so it just shows you that they've got nothing to lose they're going all in on crypto so that is absolutely awesome love seeing this from portugal and uh, as i live in spain of course i'm a neighbor of portugal so that is great right that is great to see something like that hopefully spain will think of something like that pretty soon too that would be great for the country now i just want to read this little bit of the article too now what is more the creation of a legal instrument the backbone law instead of only initiatives by regulators as most countries have done shows in clearer terms the commitment of the portuguese government with relation to testing activities while at the same time is a more stable approach that gives more visibility to the investment made by portugal in promoting an experimentation environment and culture initiatives like these help companies and can stimulate the creation of new ventures within the country while placing portugal on the map for countries that may be facing challenges in other jurisdictions due to a lack of an aligned cross-sector approach for testing when experimenting with novel technologies now the other thing to keep in mind is that a lot of countries suffer corruption right and i'm not saying that there isn't corruption in portugal for sure there is but the fact that they're moving forward with this obviously shows that they have some sort of interest in attracting startups right they're innovating right because this is how you get out of this kind of recession if you attract companies if you give them like a, a tax deduction right if you have some kind of corporate tax system where it can be lower if you can attract miners like mining companies to move to portugal imagine that right so that is great right it's it's actually generating income for the sector because you're going to generate jobs if companies open up there they're going to hire people they're going to hire locals not only locals foreigners too but at least a lot of the locals will have jobs right so that is great because that will solve the unemployment problem so it's great to see this kind of situation taking place and hopefully we're going to see more countries adopt the same right this is the whole idea this is the whole idea now let me know what you think in the comments below by the way i'm curious to get your opinion uh to find out what you think and what country are you from and would you like to see this in your country this kind of initiative this is the first time we're meeting my name is claudio and this is crypto chain the channel where i do crypto news reviews tutorials and interviews so please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video hit subscribe and enable notifications to not miss the next video i upload that may interest you thank you very much taking a look at the crypto markets on coin market cap we had some pampu we had some dampu right so what do i mean by pampu and dampu well if it is an obvious pampu actually means pump 
pump, right? When the price pumps and dampu is when it dumps, right? So Bitcoin is trading at $8,774 after breaking $9,400 not too long ago, right? It did get that pullback, which was much expected after a long growth like that, all the way from 7K, right? From the 7K area, it has pumped a lot, right? Ethereum is 211. Let's take a look at NEO, which is trading at $9.09, and Ontology in the 30th position, $0.49. Cents and what's interesting is that Ontology did manage to reach 52 cents. It broke 52 cents, but it's struggling to go higher up. Now, as I was saying before, and these are basic trading concepts, what used to be the support turns into resistance. Now, remember when I've said it many, 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 many times in my videos that 50 cents was pretty much support for Ontology, right? Every time it dumped, even from like $1.20, even from $2, it went as low as 50 cents, right? 50 cents, 50.1, 50, 51, 52 cents, more around that area, but it almost always touched 50 cents. Now that is now the resistance. So it's gonna be hard to break it because we've seen that as support for a long period of time. But I am pretty positive that if Bitcoin could hold this this value of 8,770 and go even higher, maybe even get past 9.5K, I do feel pretty confident that Ontology will be able to break that strong resistance and get back to the 60 cents area, 70 cents and higher. And this is what I'm really looking forward to. Now let's take a look at the biggest winners and that's Hedera Hash Graph, which is Pampu, 20.7%. Now stay away from these Pampus because you can get wrecked. And I will be doing a video on tokenomics pretty soon. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Just a kind reminder so you don't forget uh, when I upload, right? And don't forget to uh, enable those notifications. And the Dampu is Hive and Komodo. Now Hive was actually listed on Binance, right? So that's why they Pampu. And of course, now they're going to Dampu minus 13.3%. So that is pretty harsh uh, if you bought when they listed on Binance. Right, so this is why it's very, very, uh, very, very risky to buy when they list. When when something lists for the first time, it's okay, right? But when something lists that was already on another exchange, you're basically buying other people's bags. So it's just something to keep in mind, right? But I will be doing vi a video talking about the tokenomics and what you can expect from these type of moves, uh, just to kind of protect you if you're new to cryptocurrencies. But that's pretty much it about the price. Watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Take care.